Lamar Jackson was just as good as you could possibly be. And I'm thinking back to that terrific conversation that we heard on the sideline between him and his head coach, John Harbaugh, a couple of weeks ago, where Harbaugh said, you know how many kids are going to be wearing your number playing quarterback as we go forward? It does make me think, is Lamar Jackson one in a million? Is, is this something that we will have never – it's certainly something we've never seen before. Is right. it something we'll never see again? Or is this the beginning mm -hmm. of what might become the new normal in pro football where – we're going to start seeing high school kids. Right. They're going to give the best athlete the football and say, you be the quarterback, which is something that historically through the game for a lot of reasons that we won't get into, but most of them not so pretty, have, has not been the case. Gee, that's why you're so damn good, but I ain't touching it. No, I don't think so. I think the answer to that question is no. And here's the thing that we miss about Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson mental makeup mm -hmm. is something that we don't talk about enough. Lamar Jackson wants to destroy you. He's not just playing to win or to be, a, be a, a really good quarterback in the NFL. His mindset is to put you under the ground when he playing you. That's why he frustrated when he trips and doesn't score a touchdown. Because you know what? He threw five, but he wanted seven. You know, and, and I'm, I'm not sure if you can force that into somebody. That's why I'm apprehensive to say that we'll see another one. But of the him. insane but, competitiveness, yeah, that's com not commonplace, but I mean, this exists, right, amongst other players. They just can't do what he can do. That's true. I mean, he has different tools than a lot of other players, a lot of other quarterbacks. But I do think you make a great point. I think that when we grew up, the most athletic player on the, on the field was going to be a running back or going to be a wide receiver. Now I think coaches are saying, you're athletic. We can get you to throw the ball. We can teach you how to throw the ball. You're going to be a quarterback because of what Lamar, uh, Lamar has been doing so far. So I think that's a really good point, Greeny. I think, I think teaching somebody to throw football is a very difficult task. You know, like when you watch Lamar throw and the types of throws he makes, that, that wasn't taught in private teaching. Like yeah. something that you're born with and you kind of refine over the years and you grew up with and you're playing, yeah. like th those things are – innate abilities that are really developed just through playing as a kid. And, and we no, Lamar Jack, we're not going to have 10 Lamar Jacksons in 10 years. Lamar is a freak. And it's the intellect. It's the intelligence. It's the body dip. It's the arm angle. It's the accuracy. It's the anticipation. It's the wheels. It's the, like, it's everything tied into a guy that is the .01% yeah. here. And, and that's too. why we're not going to have a thousand. <laughs> and another thing to think about, you got you to gotta ask yourself, because 31 other teams weren't willing to accept who Lamar Jackson was. Yeah. 28 so you, teams passed well, up. 28 teams, but, but, but you, think about, you think about that, ushering in that movement as well. Like, I just don't know if – Do you know what one of the teams that, that passed on him was? The Ravens. the Ravens. It was their second pick of the first <laughs> round. I used to take him. Great point. I didn't give him that much credit. All right. so, exactly. so, anyone who tells you Great they knew point. this was coming is not telling you the truth. Yeah. So, that's a young quarterback at the beginning of what looks like a spectacular career. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.